Hey, this is Step Ament. Welcome to my exorcism.io series. In this video, I'll be working through the nth prime exercise from the Ruby track. Um, so what this exercise has us do is uh, take a given number n and determine what the nth prime number is. Uh, so just continuing to read here by listing the first six prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13, we can see that the sixth prime is 13. Um, so we also have to avoid any built-in methods for uh, dealing with prime numbers. So Ruby does have a prime class for working with prime numbers. Uh, so we've got to implement things for ourselves. No worries. We're gonna. That's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and pull this down. I'll go into the directory and start a new Tmux session. All right, and go ahead and let me remove the Ruby file. It's just empty and has comments. I like to create it myself and open the test file. Uh, okay, cool. So we've got a prime class with a class level method nth that takes an integer and returns an integer. And this is going to be uh, the prime at that place. So just like their example, the six prime is 13. And we're just going to start here with the first one. I'll run the test. They'll fail, of course. Oh, let me open the test running pane. And I'll uh, I'll copy in the rake, my rake file that um, I have set up for running these. And it's going to fail, of course, because I have not created the nth prime dot RB class yet. So let's just go ahead and do that. Reverse the panes and run it again. And it's going to fail because I need to uh, initialize the prime class. And it'll still fail because I need the uh, the class level method nth. So let's go ahead and uh, define that. Uh, this will fail because uh, we need to uh, because we actually have to um, have to accept an argument here, which I'll just call number. Uh, okay. And it wants us to return two. All right, uh, cool. So that one works. So I'll go ahead and run the second test, which will fail, and do the long, the long work of of actually implementing this. Uh, so in order to do this, in order to in order to get the nth prime, what I have to do is get start with um, starting with two, which is the very first one. Um, so I already know if I have one, I return two. Uh, what I have to do is I have to just, I have to continue to, um, continue to get, uh, successive prime numbers until I have the, the count that I want. So my count equals number. Um, and, and, and then that's the one that I want to return. So I, I'm just going to start out here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm mostly, I'm going to work top down kind of like I normally do when I refactor. But this is so complex, um, and I think I'll get confused if I start just just kind of having nested loops and things like that. So I'm just going to write the code that I wish that I had from the beginning as much as I can. Uh, and that's going to help me figure out what it needs to be. Now, I'm going to have to write a much bigger chunk of code, I think, before I have my test passing again that I'm, I really like to do. But I think by writing writing it the way I wish I had it, I think it'll help me get there uh, without too much trouble so that when I think I've got it, I'm gonna run it and I think it's just gonna work. So let, let's just see. Um, so starting out, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start building up what I how I kinda want this to work. Um, so I'm gonna have prime. 
already know that. And then at the end, I'm going to return that. Uh, of course, that that'll the first test will work. The second test test won't work. Let, let me go ahead and uh, get back to green real quick. Um, but what I need to do is I need to initialize a count. And right here, my count is one. Um, so let me go ahead and set that up. Um, and what I want to do is I want to continue to get the next prime until the count is equal to the number. And so what that might look like is something like this prime equals next prime. Um, of course, I've got to give it, I've got to give it the current prime um, while count is less than number. Uh, and so, of course, this is just utter nonsense, right? Because there is no next prime method. Um, and so this is going to fail. Th this is like my wishful, my wishful thinking, the code that I wish that I had. So my test is going to fail now, right? Um, oh, <laughs> no, this test is going to pass because um, we never call next prime for the first test because count is equal to one one and the number is equal to one. So in this case, we're just going to get one back. So this is actually correct. So what I need to do is uh, comment that the second skip out again, and now we're going to get a failure that tells us that next prime doesn't exist. So I need to go and actually implement that code that I just made up that I pulled out of thin air. So let's, let's, let me implement that next prime. And this, of course, takes um, this takes a number. It takes a number. And uh, so let's see what is next prime going to do. Well, I need to start at the. I'm not going to check that number. I want to go. I want to go to the next one. So I want to increment this to begin with. And then I, I just want to keep going up. I want to keep going up until I have a prime number, until number itself is prime. And when it's prime, I'm going to return it. So at the bottom, I'm going to return number, whatever it is. But I don't want to return it until it's prime. What I want to do is I want to do, I want to add one again. Um, if, or let's say, unless, thank you, Ruby, unless number dot prime. So let's see, is this right? So I'm going to start, I'm giving it a number ask, and asking for the next prime number. So first I increment it and then I continue to increment it until no, 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 no. That's not going to work. This needs to be a while. While not. I'm going to continue to increment it while number is not prime. And then once it's prime, we're going to return it. Um, okay, so I've, I've, I've written the code that I wish I had, but I've also created my next problem because integer does not implement uh, this prime a method. So now, now I've got to go and, and, uh, define what that should be. So let's just see. Um, no, it's not here. I have to open up integer and I'm going to define prime a and okay. And the way we determine whether or not a number is prime. So remember the definition of a prime number is uh, a, a number that is divisible only by itself and one. Um, so what we need to do is check every number between one and itself and see if it's divisible by any of those numbers. So in other words, um, 
I'm going to create a range starting at two because that is in between. That's the first number in between. Uh, and then self minus one because I don't want to look at one and I don't want to look at self because, um, you know, if, if we know it's going to be divisible by one in itself, I want to know if it's divisible by any other number in between. Um, and so let's see, I want to look at each of these. And what do I call this? This is a potential divisor or it is a divisor, I guess, or it's a potential divisor. And I want to return false if self is divisible by divisible by divisor. Otherwise, I'm going to return true. So yeah, so let's see. So starting with the next, starting with two and walking up to the number just before it, I'm going to check each one and to see if self is divisible by the divisor. If it is, I don't have a prime number. Uh, but if I make it all the way out, all the way up, then I have a prime number. Uh, now, I've done the same thing to myself. Uh, integer doesn't implement divisible by, so <laughs> I've got to go one more level deep. Yeah, see, undefined method divisible by for integer. So let's create that divisible by, and then this takes an argument divisor. Um, and then the way we return, we determine whether or not a, a number is divisible by another number is we simply use the, uh, the modulo operator. Um, so self modulo divisor, remember modulo gives you the, uh, the remainder of a division operation. Um, and so this will be zero if it is prime. And I think that's it. Uh, okay, I've got a I've got an infinite loop here somewhere. I've got an infinite loop going on. Where where is my infinite loop? Prime is two, count is one. Prime equals next prime after prime while count is less than the number. Okay. And so the next prime, we go up one and we continue to add one while number is not prime. Um, a number is, number is prime if two up to self minus one dot each. Um, so we return false if self dot divisible by divisor. So why would this be giving us? Hmm. Let's just let me just do a little debugging here. I'm going to print out self on the on uh, out every line. And then um, let's just print out divisor and just see what's happening. See what's happening here. Um, oh, wait a second. I, I know what's happening here. We're never incrementing count up here. I can't do this on one line. Um, actually have to <laughs> increment my counter here. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Not sure how I, how I realized that, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm never, I was never incrementing my counter. Okay, cool. So let's try the next test. I think this is just going to work. 
Uh, okay, we want the 10,000 and first prime. Okay, this should take a little while. I will fast forward the video, the recording. There we go. Goodness gracious. Uh, that took 93 seconds. Let me tell you, sitting here watching it while recording, it felt like 93 minutes. Uh, okay. I, I'm happy. I'm, I mean, I'm satisfied that that test works and that I'm actually calculating the, the prime correctly. So I'm going to, I'm going to uh, skip this test from now on. So, so that, uh, I don't have to sit here for 90 seconds between each one. Uh, so here, test that there is no zeroth prime. Okay, this is going to fail because um, this test is asking us to raise an argument error if um, if the number we've been given is one, is zero. And I'm not doing that. So I think this is the last thing we need to do. And we can just do it right here. Raise argue, argument error uh, if number is equal to zero. Okay. Uh, let's see real quick. Is there any, any refactoring I want to do? Um, yeah, I think this, I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, first prime maybe. Maybe that's maybe that's obvious what that is. Um, okay, the count is one. Prime is next prime. Okay, I don't see anything there. Um, number plus equal one. I mean, I think this is pretty, pretty clear. So I'm going to go ahead and submit this. All right, cool. And I'll see you in the next video.